there's coup, mm. there's mutiny. Can there be a mutiny tomorrow because you are looking at antecedents, mm. incidents in other countries? And I'm looking at your background. Your background as somebody who has done extensive study in what we call, uh, how do you call it, global crime and international security from, sorry, um, uh, let me just uh, do it here. Uh, um, I, I, I beg your pardon. Uh, quickly, um, yes, you have done uh, research with vulnerable communities in countering underpinnings of violent extremism and radicalism. That is one aspect. And then you have also done a lot of uh, work on how some of these uh, incidents happen. Now, to paraphrase it, if it is getting to a stage where, let's say, in the army, the police, the immigration service, etc., think that, look, we swore to serve the state. We think that our commanders are allowing themselves to be manipulated, assuming that is it. <laughs> and they decide to disobey orders yeah. in the interest of the average Ghanaian. Yeah. It has happened in other countries. Mali is one, yeah. recently. Can it happen in Ghana? Tra it's not traditionally, that's how many of the coups happen. It's usually out of the frustration and anguish of junior officers mm -hmm. who know clearly that their leadership is being manipulated. And because they are unable to speak up or stand up to leadership, the angry younger officers often take the lead to do these coups. If you look at recent history and even before, you often have fine younger people, captains and lesser ranks doing these things. Mm -hmm. And of course, we could get to that point where this would happen because uh, very honestly, when you speak to people you know, within the you know, governing circles in security institutions and non-security institutions, you would find a lot of this you know, opinions in terms or of this fra concern being fra shared. frustrations so being shared. why is it that nobody appears to be pressing the button today that enough is enough, let's stop, let's build confidence 2024 is around the corner, the stakes are high, and don't let anybody exploit today's situation. I think we are already having that conversation. People are talking and talking about it. The important thing that is not happening is who is listening, are the right people listening. And this boils down to leadership. Who are the right people? The president is the most powerful person in 